Mail call. Mail call. Good old Johnny. The collector. Pew Pew. Today's channel is sponsored by the Range 702 Las Vegas. Chris Chansky's the GM. Show up and give her your money and shoot in her range. She'll love you for it. Okay. Right now we're at Caliber Ranch. New range we just built last week. <laughs> Sounded like you said cowgirl ranch. <laughs> Cowgirl Ranch. It's Caliber Ranch, I like a caliber. gun caliber. I said Caliber Ranch. I heard Cowgirl Ranch, and it ain't that. Whatever. Don't listen to him. Anyway, we got a bunch of new targets out there that we've been messing with, and I've been hitting them all, and Chad hasn't hit any, and near as Johnny, so I've I'm the expert, napping. not them. Yeah, you have been cooking. Cooking and napping. I'm a grill master. Uh, okay, so the collection of the month. These are the new things that Matt bought. I know that Matt bought. You Somebody was selling them? stuff of his collection. So, like, as you see on these, these are STI, which is sexually transmitted infection. That's why they changed their name to Staccato. Really? It used to be STI. What now is wrong it's with Staccato. You? What is wrong with you? Everybody was a little hesitant to buy one. You know, and they're like, well, does this come with? It's a damn good gun. Either way. Anyway, so uh, let's start over here so we can get that out of the weather. Yeah, I don't want this to get rained on because it's been raining all damn day. So first one, we got a book. Nice book. Never heard of the book, but it's a cool book, I guess. Familiar quotations. Mm -hmm. Open the book. In the Woo! book, you get a pretty cabin. Bedside demon. Sounds like me. That's what I sound like. Bedside demon. The bedside demon is a limited edition <laughs> offering of 23 units produced as part of the exclusive gun clump of the month. When things go bump in the night, is your perfect nightstand companion. Featuring a stainless steel Damascus steel slide with polished highs pretty. and DLC lows to highlight the pattern of the steel. You can be assured that your gun is loaded via press check using the carry cuts on the front of the slide and the high-vis red fiber optic on the front sight will aid in hitting your target every time when you hear that bump in the night. The custom-made Chateau Yant carbon fiber grip offset the polished flats on the DLC coated frame and the best part is your uninvited guests won't know you are ready because your bedside demon comes with a custom book that has been made into a covert storage solution the government size cabot bedside demon is chambered in 9 mm by 19 that just said 9 mm but I added that by 19 do you go bump in the night bump in the night <laughs> that's really fun i really want to meet the people that write the cabot things i hope it's just we one person that's done it forever and i honestly would like to apply i would like to write the descriptions from now on i don't really, really cool obvious <gasps> chad pick it up oh no oh no that's the cabot we have to that's the gun case don't do that johnny is straight damascus which is beautiful the slide cuts they said we could press check to double check that we were loaded <laughs> yeah but they said using the slide cuts oh like that right there i think so you could do it that way you could do it either way this is my press check tactical do you do that with your desert eagle before you clear your house no i can hardly rack the slide oh. anyways beautiful gun okay yeah we're gonna shoot every gun after we talk about it let's shoot it ears sweet thank you walker oh baby Nice. Try it. Oh, God. <laughs> it shoots flat. Okay, good shooting, Johnny. Uh, I missed. And the next cabinet is. Ooh. I like the wood. The Aristocrat. Badass. The full length frame, beautiful, beautiful classic 1911. We did peek at this one last night, so I've seen it a little bit. Just like a classic 1911 mm -hmm. gun, right? There's not oh, yeah. a ton of engraving or anything. It's just a solid block. I always like the block part. Right. It's obviously made from one single piece of steel, right? Right. I like uh, the the barrel lot. right here has a cool little engraving there. The wood was a specific type of tree, which. Yeah, it was a tree on their property, I think. It's like ambrosia maple. Ambrosia. Or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really ambrosia pretty. maple harvested from the grounds of Cabot Gun itself which is so cool. they cut down a tree made a bunch of beautiful grips from that tree ambrosia maple never heard of it sounds like a really good syrup like kind of a different take on maple syrup uh let's shoot it what caliber of rounds is this 45 45 45 acp to the 45, 45 can matthew why would they put my glasses on yeah. Nice shot. That was Hit a good it. shot. Shot like gun. a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how many trees they cut down to make those handles and stuff. JC Steel. The Nighthawk High Power. Actually, this came in from a collection that gentleman's selling off, and I've been trying to buy up because all he's been bringing in is nice high end stuff. Stuff that I don't have that I wanted. As much as I can, I'm buying it up for sure. What's high power mean? It means it's got a lot of power. This nine high. millimeter bullet. Yeah. Basically a browning high power. Right. It's, yeah. it's like go comment and tell us what high power means.
I like it. How many more bullets do I have? Oh. One. Shoot and find out. <laughs> Shoots, flat. Flat. Shoots like a gun. Side note, I think it would be really funny if Johnny was an, an idiot like he is, but he just fucking shoots lights out when you hand him a gun. <laughs> like, that's how I did the, the plate rag last time, and then this yeah. time it's like. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay, we're up to the uh, STI. Yes. Mm. Okay, this is another part, just an STI, another part of this gentleman's collection he's been selling off. As far as I know, it's never been shot. I think we played with it earlier today. The sights are dramatically off. We're gonna have to fix that. They're but, iron sights. Yeah, but they're way off. How do iron sights get off? They're adjustable and I will admit they're off too. They're, they're way off. I bet, but, I, I bet it shoots flat for me. Yeah, it's an STI, it's freaking phenomenal. Uh, STI, so what year is this? The STI this is, changed their name in what, 2020? I, this is a so, Costa Ludus, by the way. Oh yeah, it is a Costa Ludus. Costa Ludus, he's pretty cool. He's like an instructor guy. Yeah, he's a really famous instructor guy. Uh, the guys at Tier 1 Concealer are really good friends with him. Jared. All right, let's, uh, <laughs> oh, here's. <laughs> Do not have yours on? No, it's exploding frags back. Wow. It's, it's a, this one for some reason is ricochet. All right, I already know going into it now that it's safetyed. Good safety on the range, Matt. Now we're gonna unsafety the gun. Sights are off, you're right. <laughs> Definitely the sights are off. But uh, I would be interested to know what Costa Ludus, like what's, what. Is it the comp? Is it a different spring? Is it his trigger? Like, what did he customize here, you know? Good question. I have I'd no I'd be clue. interested to know. It was really comfortable to shoot. It was fun. I missed both times, but you guys both said the iron sights were off. I believe it. STI, maybe my new concealed carry in nine millimeter. Got a nice little night sight. Did you say it's never been shot? Or is that just this one? No, this one, as far as I know, it. he didn't shoot it, but we shot it a few times. Oh, you did already Just shoot to it. try it. But it's a pretty. nice gun. It's a very it's nice pretty. gun. That is really pretty. DVC carry, this is their STI, the DVC carry gun. Yep. STI with the state of Texas there. They're still based in Texas, but they changed the name as we previously mentioned. Yes. And let's shoot it. Killed it. Saw that. All the nine millimeter it. high power bullets took toll on that nine millimeter still target. All right. Tried. Well, before you turn it into your concealed carry, let's get the iron sights yes. dialed in. Please. Uh, really fun though. Is that the same size as their new one that they just came out with? Uh, the I don't know, CS? I haven't compared it. Uh, what, are the, what are the two Cabot, Cabots? What do they cost? Uh, I think it sounds cooler, it's Cabot. <laughs> <laughs> one was 9,000 and the other one was 7,000. This high power was 3,000. The This STI was 6,000. And this one was 3,000. A lot of thousands. Yeah, no shit. Next up, it looks like FN. Yep, FN 10 millimeter. A 10 millimeter from FN with a it's threaded barrel. So if you want to go quiet with your 10, 22 rounds of 10 millimeter. <laughs> Shoot all so the that could get a bear probably. Usually your 10 millimeters are like 12 or 15 rounds. I'm like, eh, bear probably lives through that. It just kills me. The downside is the ammo's at home and not here. Oh, we don't get to shoot this one. We don't get to shoot that one. Can we throw it? No, it's brand new. I'm not gonna throw no it. No stress test or anything? No. Is, is this unique? Why'd you buy this? Because I like 10 millimeter and I didn't have an FN in 10 millimeter. I think that's pretty cool. It's a really big extended mag. Grip feels nice. The sights seem normal. Are they suppressor height sights? I think so. Yes, they are. So you throw a suppressor on there, a little comp, whatever you want to do to get tactical. A little chest rig from crossbreed holsters to run up in the mountains and do your jogging and your fitness. And then if a bear or cougar comes, you can scare them. Yeah, I wanted this gun. I'm gonna put an RMR on it for sure so I can see what I'm shooting. How much that cost? I think that was... What's a 10 millimeter usually? 1500, two, are they? Are 2000, they, 2000, 2000, 1500, somewhere around there. Okay. Give or take. Does not even remember. Yeah, I don't. It's been a while. An H and K ninety one. <laughs> that was three oh eight. That was a, like a pressure. with the correct scope and mount. Right. This is like a World War something gun. Definitely is a World War something gun. No, it's not World War War something gun. Cold War. Cold War. Yeah, that's pretty. But cool. I already have one. Do we get to F shoot it? Yeah, we can shoot it. You want to shoot it? Yeah. Can I shoot it? Yeah. Go ahead. All right, what's cool about it? Why'd you buy it? I didn't own one. The only one I have is in aftermarket. I guess you could call it. I think it's PTR actually. Post-traumatic recognition. Just shoot the dirt. <laughs> Don't let it go. 308. 
Bye. Got some balls to it. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. Dang it, you told me it was unsafe. <laughs> I told you it was unsafe. It's empty. <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> the Cold War was against Russia and Ukraine, wasn't it? No. Who was it against? No. You don't know. It was. And today all they talk about is global warming, but Russia and Ukraine are still fighting. <laughs> it's a hot war. Now while Matt puts that down, the dumbest gun that he bought is this. <laughs> which is a 50 caliber rifle with a sword for a brace. Literally will stab into your arm and take your life as you shoot it. It has a four times two, which is eight port compensator or muzzle barrel break, pusher, muzzle brake. Really big, big barrel. Probably weighs about 20 pounds. I just threw the optic on it. God, it's just a one by six. It's a one by six from Sig Sauer. You're the first person to shoot it if you're gonna shoot it. Do you, you wanna shoot it? We don't have to shoot it. That's so stupid, I'll shoot it. This is so dumb. <laughs> Where's a bullet? Why'd you buy this? Why did I buy it? Yeah. Because it's stupid. Obviously you didn't have one. No, I didn't have one. Oh, you have to slide it into the mm -hmm. bone carrier group? Is that the right words that I used? Is that the bone carrier group? No. Okay. So it has a little slot to slide it in. Uh -huh. Super weird if it like, you know, fired right now <laughs> while we're doing this. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> that would be fun. Fun part about the Caliber Ranch here in North Dakota, it's kind of like that symbol, the scene from Lion King, like, wherever you can see is the collector's ranch. Just make sure you Simba. hit burn. You loaded it? Trigger's it's loaded. ready? Trigger's ready. Oh, wow, this is stupid. <laughs> Just make sure you hit a berm. That's all I ask. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Okay, so we were worried about the uh, stock, as it were. So I found some bubble wrap <laughs> in the truck from the Steel Target shipment. We're gonna put some ears on too. Of course, eye protection, I only trust one brand. JC Steel. JC Steel. Code The Collector gets you a discount at checkout, I guess. It gets some sort of discount, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, is the safety on? Is there a safety? I don't see a safety on it. All right. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the crazy thing <laughs> with regular 50 cals, the barrel's so long that uh, the, the percussion and everything is like really far away from you. Um, this one, the barrel's really short, so it, it's it right goes, next it's, to your face. Yeah. It's like, like somebody, Sprite. Yeah, finished on your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a dumb gun. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Wait a minute, did he hit the Texas I hit the sword? berm. No, I hit the berm. Oh. I hit right in between those two you right there. You hit the berm, yeah. But I also, like, got thrown back a little bit. <laughs> I had my sprite by the uh, <laughs> brake to see what would happen and it uh, blew up. My, my sprite. So, really cool gun, but I think one thing we can take away from that is the fact that the SIG scope just stayed dialed in that whole time. <laughs> That's true. Did zero. Fly off. Next fun. one is a Titman, the new Titman. Titman? Titman. Titman. 22, Tip serial number four. Tipman? And that matches my other Titman serial number four. Did they just start making these or did yes, you buy it from new. somebody else? No, okay, this no. is brand new. Brand new. You have two Titman. No, I have one Titman. You have two on each side, one on each side in the vault room. No, I have one. What is the other thing that looks exactly like it? <laughs> it's a big 4570 Gatling gun. Big? Yeah. <laughs> oh! On top I'm of the safe. Oh, my bad. No, my on bad. top of the safe. Yeah, you got two I do. Guns. I take that back. The other 22s are not Gatling guns. I'm sorry. Those are the 1919, the water cooled. One of them's 1919 A4. I can't remember what the other one's 1919. Are they Titman? They are Titman. Titman, if you guys don't know, used to make paintball guns, which I think they still do. No, they still, they still do. They still do. do. Best, yeah. best paintball guns. Best paintball guns you could buy. Anyway, she's 22. I'm anxious to try it out just because it's 22 and 22 is fun and cheap to shoot. Cool. What did it cost? Around 3,500 to four grand, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I want to say around that. Cool. What'd that stupid thing cost? That stupid thing cost $3,000, I believe. Yeah, it's $3,000. It's a big dumbbell price. Let's but have you shoot that. It's the first time I've shot it and loaded it. Just so. shoot all those. 
Tip and are good on. friends. They're good people. They're fun. They always support the channel. They've supported Matt's addiction for years, and uh, they continue to fuel his addiction. Yeah, they're good at that. You got it, Matt? I think so. Try it? Yeah. I like that and it helps my addiction to Gatling guns. I'm just gonna have to buy more, but it's badass and it's cheap to shoot. Perfect for kids. Christmas, buy one. Okay, the next one was part of that other gentleman's collection. This one was made back from what I was told by Nighthawk back in 2010. They only made like a hundred of them. This is number one of a hundred. And what I find out, they're all one of 100. Never been shot. And it's got the Strider knife, of course the Nighthawk pistol, and then you have a nice ornament. Is that dope? Knight's ornament, yeah. With Nighthawk branding on it. <laughs> and I like it because everything looks like a, not a golf ball, but everything matches. Kind of golf ball branding, that's, that's pretty cool. Yep. This feels like a John Wick safe, kind of. Like, in a way. They have it laid out really nice. They're yep. custom, really nice guns. They've got like medallions <laughs> in the dagger. And you said, we are not shooting these. These no, are we're not gonna shoot shooting those. guns. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot these, no. I paid 11,000 for it. I know new when they came out was 8,000. I was told it's been on Gun Broker for, they're selling for like 20 to 25, I was told. I don't know if that's actually true. I haven't checked myself, but I feel like I got a good deal for sure. You, you liked it, so you bought it. Yeah, pretty much. I is that kind of top right now in your desires no, list? No, no, I just, I like high quality and they build high quality guns. Yeah. Cool, so what's that rank up everything to for mail call for mm, the month? God, I didn't know I didn't keep track. Did you guys keep track? Tell us how much this cost. Yep. It sounded like it was like three to five per and there was like eight guns. Kind of a cheap month add. for what you've been doing the last several months. I feel like that's a cheap month, isn't it? No, it's actually not a cheap month. From what you've been doing? No. Huh? There's other ones that have been cheaper. When? Maybe the first mail call. You're enjoying it though? The collection, like the, the collector is still enjoying collecting firearms? I'll never stop. You'll never stop? No, no, no. no. I'll buy them all the time. It was fun having your, your friend here last time. Sam? Yeah, Sam. Yeah. Sam's really cool and we got to talk to him about the collector back in the day because they've been <laughs> friends since they were kids, you know? like neighborhood kids running around and stuff. and Yeah, we used to get in trouble kind of awful lot. But it was cool to hear Sam talk about how you've always been collecting guns. Yes. It's never been like a thing that just started. Pretty but, cool. It was yeah. fun to shoot some of them. I like this one a lot. I just, I want to shoot it, but I can't shoot it. Can't shoot this one. This one's going in a glass case. This will go in the new room once it gets done, maybe. The new room. The new room. And beautiful caliber ranch really showed out tonight for us as well. You know, we typically do the uh, the mail calls in the gun room. In yeah, we want to do one. something different. Just a little different. You know, we we spent the couple nights out here filming this month, and we had the campfire, we had the grill going, yep. sunsets right behind you, and my gosh, perfect. And uh, Matt spent the last month building out this berm, still targets. We got the other range of the long distance range getting set up it's, where it's we're starting to work on that out now. to a mile. Yep. You know, it's a yep. uh, caliber ranch is coming together. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hanging thanks out. guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out.